Okay, what do I need to get started with Qt for Siemens development? Um, well, I need to set up my Siemens C++ development environment, which basically means install a Siemens SDK. So, right now the S60 Edition 5 SDK is available, and we call that the Siemens 1 SDK. You can download that from the Siemens Foundation website. OpenSign Online is, is something which is designed, I guess, for people who are starting out, or maybe hobbyists, or people who are not part of a company. And this is something that's provided, it's free of charge. Um, you don't need to register an account at Simbian Science. All you do is you go to the website, you upload your sys file that you've created for your application, you give us your IMEI number and an email address, and we'll essentially sign that sys file uh, through our web service and return that sys file signed back to you. So you can then install that on the device of the IMEI that, that you've given us. The idea is that you create all your objects with JavaScript. So all your text fields and input boxes and forms, you create them with JavaScript and you have basically nothing in the HTML file. And we'll see how that works. And from February onwards we should see the rollout um, of the Flash Player 10.1, um, which brings Flashlight, uh, sorry, ActionScript 3 to Flash which is a much closer, it's much closer to Java, it's a lot more powerful and it actually, it's a complete shift development wise because in essence it's a new language. We're going to now hear about um, Symbian C++ with Adam Fleming from Podme. What I've just done is I've declared a string literal and I'm setting the text label of the, of the label to be that text. I'm then going to tell the label to redraw. There you go. So I've got my application, I've got a button and a label. I hit the button and it says hello world. There you go, that's five minutes people take to hello world in Simeon C++. Yep, that means that the Simeon 4 UI is going to be based entirely on Qt and also on a new UI framework that is going to be built. It's currently under development on top of Qt uh, and it's called Orbit.